Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Patience once again and I decided to come at you guys with a little extension. In this one I wanted to showcase um, the bathhouse I was talking about. Now, I haven't gone in depth or to town with it, but for a turntable this is actually uh, perfect uh, because I'm able to showcase not just my character, but some of my very small and I guess you could say quite compact skills um in like a one shot kind of produce um so as you can see i do my little turntable of my character here and what i'm showcasing is my use of uh gradients uh the gradient was um one of the main features that helped this piece to pop um and though um it was hard for me to implement uh, more work into it because i'm working on my surface pro um, I got as much done as I could. What I mean by that is uh, with the Surface Pro, um, I do end up getting a lot of um, glitches. Uh, not necessarily glitches, but um, it's the um, I find it very hard to work under um, stressful conditions. Um, as you can see, the screen is very laggy. Um, and also the Surface Pro is liable to, to, to heat up uh, quite a bit and I don't like working under those circumstances not even on my um, desktop um, so um, I try to keep, keep my uh, workload to um, a certain um, limit as it were so, so I haven't bone rigged the character and I haven't added any um, animations not to this um, because it would be a bit too strenuous if not for the computer, then for my darn self. Um, so as you can see, I've modeled her out some underwear um, and the shadows on her are a little bit more um, um, delightful as it were. And um, I still have the intention to animate her, but I think I might do a cross thread um, part 2D, part 3D. So um, I might do like a render pass follow up kind of thing. Um, and if I do go through with that, I think this will be amazing. The only bad thing is a lot of the background might be um, uh, deleted. But if um, uh, my uh, uh, I might be able to keep the uh, the background and proceed anyway, because um, it might just fall link to everything nicely. Um, so um, as you can see, I've got the water animation going on. I've got the caustics. If you look very closely on my um, my um my bath floor as it were i have the caustics on there as as well um i give a little turntable to my little vending machine um i didn't go in depth with um modeling this but i gave it enough um modeling uh to make it um recognizable here i show off um some of how i was able to um achieve the lighting in that room there without actually lighting up the object so as to keep the focus on the main character where i could use bloom to kind of fluff out these uh the objects in that room that the light is shining on um i decided to keep them dark um just to keep that focus on um the main centerpiece uh which i thought was a good look um also um the the gradient that i've used on the um the the seating um in the background was something that i um, slightly want to showcase off um and as you can see everything is focused towards the center of the screen um so i think this is something that i most certainly do want to um pull off and something that i want to um put more time into i've had to um um, focus on buying myself a few uh, pen nibs uh, for my Surface Pro um, because the previous one broke. Otherwise, I would get right down to um, applying the 2D aspects to this um, ASAP. Um, so there's also another animation that I'm supposed to be working on, which is 2D, uh, which obviously due to my pen nib breaking, I've had that as a drawback as well. Um, um and um obviously i was working on link from the wind waker um as you can see that's something that obviously uh, will be successful because my character is looking very beautiful um and here what i'm trying to do is um add apply a bit more um 
some color to the screen just to make um, the center of the screen pop just that little bit more so if I do go through with this and I choose to bring this scene out to make it just that more um, 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 investable as it were I will most certainly publish it because um, it will be a scene that will invest a lot of time into um, a very small yet compact um, um, uh, would it be a clip or a scene um, oh and here I showcase um, some of her clothes overlaps so um, it's something that I haven't completed yet uh, but it's really not hard all I've got to do is just um, stretch the clothes out so they fit around each other uh, but I'm working on a shirt um, her skirt um, I've obviously done um, I've got to put um, put her skirt in position her jumper has got to overlap over the shirt just a little bit more then I've got a tie to put on and um, then I'm going to create a few decals, uh, decals for her as well. Um, I like the fact that I can rotate the camera very low and I'm getting um, the underwear um, instead of um, um, skin as it were. Um, oh, and also what I do here is I begin to focus the, um, the coloring scheme. Um, so you guys can tell me which one you think looks best. Um, but what I did was, um, if you notice in the background, instead of it being um, a brown, um, insinuating wooden colours, uh, what I did was I went with a blue hue, um, so as to keep that main central focus. Um, but anyway guys, um, you can tell me what you think about this in the comments down below. It's your boy Patience, leave your thumbs, your likes and those comments. If you have any questions... Thank <laughs> you.